Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today I want to do a small uh, end cloth tutorial. Okay. Now I opened one of the uh, previous scenes that we created in one of the tutorials, and what I want to do is I want to create something like a blanket that's lying, you know, on the couch in some position. Okay, just to give it a bit more real look. Now that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to start off by creating that object. And for that, we're going to create a polygon plane. We're just going to drag that out in the grid. Something like that. We're not going to go entirely crazy. It shouldn't be too big. Something like that. We're going to add W. We're going to pull that up. And now it's important when you're using end cloth to make sure that you are using enough subdivisions. Okay. The reason for that is that um, you know the it has to move. This is as stiff as a board. If you add subdivisions, then it has the ability to do that. Okay, so let's go with 40 by 40, something like that. We're just going to hit. Uh, actually, we're going to pull it up first. We're going to apply some texture to it, so it looks like a, a blanket or whatnot. So we're going to select that, right click, assign a new material. We're going to go with the Lambert material. I'm going to go to my checker box next to the color. I'm going to select file. And I got a file that I'm going to pick up through clicking on this folder here. And I call it pink played. Okay. Something like that. All right. So now that we got that, we can just uh, make sure that it's set up properly. So we got it selected. I'm going to go to our polygons menu create UVs and as this is a flat plane we're going to go with planar mapping like so and we're going to go up to edit UVs UV texture editor and we're just going to make sure that this is a nice fit okay so right click go to UVs drag select that okay seems to be okay based on what we got here you can decide to move that if you like so we're going to drag select that again we can hit W and we can move that until we think that, you know, whatever we got going on there looks okay. Maybe something like that. And uh, let's see if you want to adjust it in that way or not. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Okay. Let's see what we got. Just uh, go to object mode. Okay. So that is what we're going to work with, all right? Okay, so now how do we do that? First of all, we're going to position it from our top view. So we're going to move that over. And we're going to give it a position that will allow us to drop it on, let's say, the armrest. Okay, so we're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that. Maybe in an angle, something like so. We're going to check our top view. So we're pretty close already, so we need to pull it up. We need to give it the opportunity to act as a, uh, a cloth type deal. All right. So that's where we're at. So we're going to zoom in on that. We've got our object selected. We're going to go to End Dynamics. We're going to go up to End Mesh and create End Cloth. Okay. So now we got a nucleus set up here in our attribute editor. We're going to select that. And in order for it to fall, we need to make sure that we have uh, gravity, right? So select it, go up to fields, hit gravity. Okay. And now we need to add some frames to allow it to actually fall down on our couch. Okay. So let's go with 200, something like so. Now, before we hit play, if we do it the way we did right now, the plate will go straight through the couch, through the floor, and all the way down. All right? So we need to select our couch. And we're just going to go up to our polygons menu, uh, go to mesh and combine. So that's one object. Okay. We're going to go back to our end dynamics menu. And we are going to go to, I always have to see where that one's at okay and mesh and create passive collider all right 
Now, if everything went well, we should be able to run this, okay? So let's go. We're going to hit play. Okay. Now, let's say I stop my animation right here. Now, that would be the way it's positioned. Now, I'm not too fond of that. I think a, a different angle would be better. So I'm going to go back to frame one, all the way back, okay? And we're going to reposition that a little bit. So we're going to select our object. We're going to move that back, something like that. Okay, something like so, all right? And let's hit play again. Now, for example, I stop my animation and you can see that it's going through the floor here and it has a tendency to slide off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our start frame. We're going to select the, uh, the uh, what is it, carpet and floor. We're going to go up to end mesh and create passive collider. So that should avoid that from happening. Okay. And what we also can do is select our fabric. Uh, let's see, go to the nucleus. Uh, sorry, the end cloth shape. There we go. And then we have some presets that we can choose from. So what kind of fabric are we going for? Are we going for burlap, you know, and so forth? Silk, maybe. Now, this is a, kind of a blanket uh, type of deal, okay? So, and I'm not an expert in cloth, but let's say we're going to go with something like t-shirt, okay? That will not be as smooth as silk. It won't slide off the couch as fast. So let's give that another try, okay? And we're going to hit play. Okay, and I hit stop, right? So... This is our object, right? You see it's folded around the couch. And you can also see it's lying on the floor. So it's no longer going through, right? Okay. Now we'll do one more try because as you can see, we are not hitting this here. So we're gonna go back to frame one. Let's push that in just a little, something like that. Give it one more go. And be ready to hit stop when you think that is okay. All right. Now, I kind of like that. That looks pretty cool. Okay. So we're going to leave it at that. So what we're going to do now is we are going to make sure that when we render this out, that this animation part is gone. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our blanket. We're going to go up to Edit, Delete by Type, and select History. And that will make sure that, you know, when we get rid of this, it's just going to stay where it is, right? So we can go, uh, you know, we can hit Play, we can do whatever we want, and it's just going to stay there. Okay, right, so let's give this a quick render to see how it looks. Maybe something like so. Quickly check my render settings, and they should still all be okay. Uh, yeah, looks like. Okay, uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit on the object that we created. Something like that. All right, here we go. Looks like that's not going to take too long. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right. Well, for the tutorial purposes, uh, I kept the poly count on the original plane that we used for this plane fairly low, 40 by 40. 
if you want this to look a little bit smoother, uh, for example, you see little uh, angles here and so forth, you can, for example, increase that to 100 by 100. Now, the thing there is that obviously rendering will take a bit longer, but, but that's fine, okay? So that's it. Uh, that's uh, a very basic and simple way to get started with Encloth. I uh, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.